maybe the most asked question by consumers right now is should I buy a home right now or should I wait? Should I buy or should I wait? And it's a great question and it's understandable because home prices have soared so much in the last several years, but even more so this year. So should you buy a home right now or sit back and wait and see what happens and see if maybe home prices drop? And so we're gonna discuss this in this video and I just want you to know I'm a real estate stats geek and have been for a very long time. I teach classes on this for realtors because this is something I'm very passionate about. And the first point I just wanna make to you in this, in this video is this. In the, since 1970, Metro Denver home prices as a whole have only dropped twice. They dropped in the mid 80s, then they started dropping at about 2007 for a cup for two or three years. And that's what so many people remember because prices did drop as a whole about 25% then. But one of the things I've done, I went back and looked at history. What caused home prices to drop each time? And there was two main factors that I saw. In each case, the unemployment rate was over 10% for a long period of time. Second fact was that we had over six months of inventory for at least two years before prices started to drop. One of the things I, I remember, I've worked with a lot of you know realtors who were in the business in the 80s, and I remember one agent, he told me this story many years ago. He was selling new condos in Aurora in the mid 80s, and the builder ran out of money, couldn't pay him his commissions on his last three sales. So the builder ended up gave him his very last condo, the fourth one that was remaining. And the realtor involved told me, Lonnie, I didn't want it. I couldn't sell it, I couldn't rent it. And so he ended up owned it, and he still owned it, I know, as of 10, 12 years ago. Of course, he got it for free, and it was, you know, it's probably worth over $300,000 now. But that was how bad the real estate market was in the 80s, for example. And you look at today's market, we've been under two months of inventory for eight years, under one month of inventory of homes for sale for since June of last year, June of 2020. And right now we're running right about a half month of inventory or two weeks of inventory of homes for sale. So for us to get back to six months of inventory for the possibility of home prices to drop, home inventory levels got to increase by 1,200%. If someone tells you A needs to increase by 1,200% for B to happen, how likely do you think B is to happen? Not very likely, is it? My second point is, is we all know home prices across the country and here in Denver are soaring. According to Case Schiller, which is considered the gold standard of home price appreciation reports, showed that in July of this year, and they look at you know year over year, July 2020 to July 21, Metro Denver homes have appreciated by over 21%. That's equal, that's over a hundred thousand dollars of appreciation that homes have experienced here in Metro Denver. And so prices are soaring and a lot of times I have people will tell me, I'm just gonna save a little more money. Well, unless you can save over $100,000 a year, you're going backwards. Because home prices are rising so fast. So if, you know, it just goes, okay, should you buy a home now or later? Hmm, if you can save over $100,000 a year, go ahead and wait. Point number three, is rents are soaring now too across the country. And so we're seeing uh, uh, average rents, according to like apartment lists and other sources here in Metro Denver, rising anywhere from 12 to 22% year over year as of September. I have clients right now who I just got pre-approved to buy their first home. Their, their rent on a home in Central Park is going from 2,300 to 3,000 in January. And this is starting to happen to more and more people. So if rents are soaring too, just realize the only way you can lock in your, your cost of housing is to buy a home. 
If you're gonna rent, your rent is gonna continue to rise. And one of the things that's happening here in Denver and across the country is investors are buying homes by the hundreds or thousands. Like I just spoke with a realtor earlier this week. They have an investor, uh, it's probably an investor group that is gonna be buying, wants to buy 50 homes a month along the front range. And there's other investors coming in buying by the thousands. And here's what they're counting on. They can beat you out to buy the home and then they're gonna keep you as a lifelong renter and keep raising your rent every year. So that's what could happen, you know, if you wait. Because there's more and more big time investors coming into the Denver market to buy homes, even building the homes and renting them out to people. The final point I wanna make, and this is something almost no one considers or understands, is the impact of mortgage rates on your payments. Know this, that a 1% mortgage rate increase is equal to an 11% price increase. So let's say home prices only rise 6% in the next year, which is Denver's long-term appreciation average for over 50 years. But if mortgage rates rise 1%, that's 11% price increase, plus the normal, say, 6% price increase means basically that home price is still increased 17%. So almost, you know, rates have already gone up about a half a percent this year. They're expected to continue to rise, probably another half percent or so. So does waiting make sense when mortgage rates are rising and prices are rising? And I just ask you this question, you know, after watching this video, what would you tell your friends and family? You know, should they buy now or should they wait? What should you do? If you have questions, comments, please post them down below. I'd love to see them and love to discuss this in more depth with you. But please also share my page, like my channel, and just share this with your family, friends, and coworkers because they need to know this information.